what I eat in a day at the age of 51 to maintain my physique. Welcome. I'm Tracy Hensel. I'm a certified professional coach and ICF credential holder. I help people just like you achieve goals, whatever they look like for you. This includes health and wellness. I was a personal trainer for several years and a health and wellness coach. I still do health and wellness coaching. I also do life coaching. You can learn more about me in the description box below by tapping the link to my personal brand website as well as my coaching and consulting website. I also facilitate programs to help you lose weight and maintain your weight. The next one is coming up in quarter two and that starts Monday, April 10th, the day after Easter. You can learn more about three week intents by tapping the link in the description box below. So let me give you a little history about what I eat in a day, typically year round. I have been eating the way that I eat today for about 15 years. When I was going to school to become a personal trainer and health and wellness coach, I learned a lot about nutrition and how nutrition plays such a big role not only in your weight, but your physique as well. So I made a complete 360 shift to a clean eating diet. Prior to that, I did maintain my weight, but I was eating standard American diet. I still exercised, mostly cardio, ate standard American diet, but I kept my calories in check in order to maintain my weight. I've also had five pregnancies. I am a mother of five, four adult children, and I have a 17-year-old daughter still in the home. While of course I put weight on, pregnancy weight, when I was pregnant, I also always took that weight off, but again, I was eating the standard American diet. About 15 years ago, when my youngest was about two, is when I went to school to get certified, again, as a personal trainer and health and wellness coach, and transitioned myself from standard American diet to what I call clean eating. I have never subscribed to a specific diet. There's no label or name to how I eat. I eat based on my goals. And let me share with you what my three goals are. My three goals is number one, to manage my weight window. I have a five pound weight window and I manage that window. My second goal is to stay in a certain size of clothing. I wear one size and I have no other size in my closet. I don't have a smaller size. I don't have a larger size. I'm not willing to spend money on a new wardrobe, wardrobe for the sake of eating food that doesn't keep me in check with my goals. So I am a size two, 26 in jeans, that's the only size I have, and that is the size that I want to maintain. A lot of my clothes have been tailored to fit me well, and I've spent a lot of money to have those clothes tailored to fit me well. So it would be very irresponsible, yes, irresponsible of me to get out of my weight window and my size and now have to buy new clothes. The third goal that I have is maintaining the muscle mass that I have worked so hard to achieve. So the food that I eat checks off all those boxes and I basically eat the same food every single day, 365 days per year. There's no off season. Now, I may go on vacation and we are dining out a lot and really I'm on the standard American diet most of the vacation. While I may have a little bit of my clean food, 
If I'm going to a restaurant, it's standard American diet. So I'm okay with that. And yes, there are some negative reactions that I have. Of course, you're gonna put on a few pounds because that food is so calorie dense. All that matters is I'm okay with it and I'm always back on my clean eating plan when I return home. I don't go all out hog wild on vacation, but I do indulge and I do celebrate that season. I do look at vacations as a time of different. Uh, when we're at home, we're working. When we're on vacation, we're doing leisure activities that we enjoy. Well, I do love food. I love standard American diet food. I love all the food that most people love. I love nachos and I love fish tacos and I like pizza and I like flatbreads and there's a lot of things that I love baked goods. I love dessert and I love wine and, and, and adult beverages. So it's not that I'm against them by any means. It's just that I know they won't keep me at my goal if I indulge in them too much. So for the last 15 years, I've ate basically the foods I'm going to share with you today. I don't, I don't listen to what other people say uh, because I know what my goals are. And let me share a little something with you about goals. Most people believe that you have a goal to achieve something. So when you get there, you've gotten to the destination, you've gotten to the goal, you've achieved it and then you're done. And then you can go back to your old ways or you continue on. Well, Although I'm only in maintenance mode, I'm not in weight loss mode. I call it mode because it is a mode. I'm in weight management or weight maintenance. The goal is always ongoing because it requires severe effort and discipline on my part to maintain the three goals that I always have in front of me. So it's not like the beginning of the year comes and I have these new goals. The goal is always in motion. The goal is 365 days per year and I'm always back on it even if I go celebrate. Now, over the years of eating this way, again, we're talking 15 years, you do get a little bit familiar with yourself after 15 years of eating a certain way. I can get away with a little elbow room, maybe one or two meals. Let me preface meals, not days, but a meal that would be standard American diet or something off my clean eating plan. I can get away with about one or two of those per week and maintain that weight window. And that's why it's nice to have that five pound swing. Because as soon as I eat at a restaurant, let's say, and I eat something standard American diet and my body is like, whoa, I am not used to all this sodium and all this sugar and fat and everything else. Of course, I retain water. My weight is going to go up. But I don't, I don't shame myself, guilt myself. I celebrate my celebratory meals deliberately and with intention. And I will not say yes to something that is not exceptional. So if I am going to celebrate by having something that's not on my clean eating plan, it is going to be phenomenal. If it's not, it's not worth it. And what happens is it eliminates any guilt and shame because you're having it deliberately. It didn't pull you in. For a lot of people, they're pulled in. No, 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 no. There's no pulling me in. If I have something, I'm choosing it. I'm choosing it deliberately and I celebrate it and there's no guilt or shame about having it, but I'm always just indulging in it in that moment and then I'm right back to my normal clean eating because that is what serves me. That is what keeps my energy levels high. And that is what keeps me checking off those three goals, right? The three goals of weight management and my weight maintenance window, maintaining my size so that I fit into my clothing and maintaining my muscle mass. Now I will share with you my meals today. I ate, well, I should say yesterday, 
I ate five meals. I would say typically I eat five to six meals per day. It just depends. I have a lot of clients throughout the day. I'm running two businesses. I have five children and all they're, though they're pretty much, they're all raised and on their own except for the one, I'm still very plugged in. I'm also a very hands-on grandma. So I have a lot of responsibilities eating that many times and preparing food. If you if you prepare food and, and meal plan and meal prep, you know that there's a lot of work that comes with it. So typically five to six meals per day. A couple of things that my food has to accomplish for me. Number one, it has to taste good. While it's clean eating, I have to like it. I'm not going to eat anything that I don't like. My food has to taste good, but it doesn't need to be complicated because once you start preparing bougie recipes and adding all sorts of things into your recipe, just know that you're adding a lot of calories and other things and it could be hindering you from weight loss. I save my really yummy, 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 yummy food with all the recipe concoctions for my celebratory meals. You know I do family dinner every Friday night. I prepare family dinner for the family. A lot of times that's when I'll take my celebratory meal and I'm preparing very yummy dishes with lots of ingredients, but they're very calorie dense, loaded with all the things that are standard American diet. So my food has to taste good. I love everything that I eat. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't eat it. I also always encourage my clients only eat the foods they love. If you don't like avocado, we're not going to put avocado on your plan. If you don't like fish, why would we have you eat fish? There's plenty of other animal protein sources for you to eat. So food has to taste good. I also do not want to be hungry. I don't mind being a little empty, the tank being a little empty going into a meal, especially if it's a if it's if it's after a workout i like to be really empty when i when i have that first meal after my workout but i don't like to be hungry also doing a lot of fasting even throughout the day by spreading your meals out while that is great for weight loss when you're trying to maintain muscle tone and muscle mass you have to be careful with that for me to keep my energy levels up I need to eat often, and that's why I eat five to six times a day in their meals. They're, they're small micro meals, but they're not snacks, they're meals. I don't snack, I just eat meals five to six times per day. Yesterday, I ate five meals. Again, sometimes I eat six. So those are very important to me. I have a very aggressive exercise routine. My strength training routine is impeccable. It is, it is just so results oriented, but in order to sustain keeping up with that very hardcore strength training routine, I need to eat proper foods that complement that. So again, in keeping the muscle tone and the muscle mass and maintaining it, I've created a meal plan that works for those goals. If your goal is weight loss, it's going to be a lot different and you're gonna put your focus more on calories, maybe not so much what you're eating. While I know my BMR, my basal metabolic rate, which tells me how many calories I can have in a given day for my age and activity level, I have no idea how many calories I take in in a given day. I know if I've ate too much, I know if I've ate too little. It's very simple. Obviously, when I take a celebratory meal, I'm probably gonna have too many calories that day. Again, the weight will go up a little bit, but I'm right back on the plan. So it's, it's very important, I believe, for you to know what your BMR is, to know what your calorie count for the day should be, and then you base your goals off of that. If you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we will determine your BMR, and we will use that number as a good measure based on what you're choosing to do for exercise, how often, how intense, what type of calorie burn you're getting in your exercise, and then we will tweak your intake of calories accordingly if weight loss is your goal. If you are in your weight window and you're looking to do some things with your physique like build muscle, then we will design 
your diet plan to complement that. That's why you have to tune out the noise. You tune out the noise around you of others that have no idea what your goals are. People never say, well, what are your goals? And then give advice. People just like to tell you what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, how this is good, how this is bad. And they have no idea that you're eating to achieve or maintain your goals. So just tune out the noise. I don't even bat a lash when I hear someone say anything. I don't, I don't tell them they're wrong. I just, I just don't do anything. I just nod and shake, <laughs> nod and shake my head. Uh -huh, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I share with you today in the images of my meals, pretty much every day, the same thing. Now the food may change, but the actual category stays the same. So I eat a lot of protein, a lot. I eat a small to moderate amount of fat and a small, moderate amount of carbohydrates. Now, my protein sources may change depending on what I have in the home at that time, but there's always going to be a protein source with whatever carbohydrate or fat I put with it. I would say for the most part, I eat a lot of salmon, a lot of tuna. I eat eggs pretty much every single day, a little bit of maybe protein powder in my post-workout breakfast. I eat chicken and I'm, I'm, I'm not a chicken lover, so I, I'm finicky about where, where I'm getting my chicken. Either I have to prepare my chicken or literally I like, I'll eat canned chicken. But I, I, chicken is a hard one for me. I don't really eat any beef, even if I do a celebratory meal or take a celebratory meal. I'm just not a beef lover. I can have a taco or I can have a hot dog or pepperoni on a pizza. And if I make roast beef, I may have a couple of bites, but by nature, even growing up as a child, when we went to a greasy spoon restaurant or if I ate fast food, which I haven't had fast food in 15 years either, I always ate fish, fish and chips, fish sandwich, anything fish. So I've never, I've just always been kind of a fish eater. Even way back in the day when I used to eat Subway, when I was on the standard American diet, they had a sub called a seafood and crab. That was the sub that I ate. So I've never been a lunch meat or any, any meat type products like that. I just love my fish. So my protein sources, are typically the same every day. They just may move around. And if I'm out of something, I may have eggs twice in one day, or I may have two tuna packets or two cans of chicken. I don't place a lot of emphasis on that. It's no big deal. All that matters is it's working for me. And it is clearly, clearly it's working for me. You can look at me and tell the work is there and the effort is there and the food is honest, is, is obviously complementing my lifestyle and my, and my, my, my exercise plan. And then from there, pretty much vegetables in every single meal. I do have at least one starchy carbohydrate per day. This may be oatmeal, cream of rice, sweet potato, brown rice. It just depends on what I have. A lot of times it's going to be an oatmeal or a cream of rice cereal because I eat that post-workout when my body needs to restore those glycogen. So I train in the morning. I get up at four in the morning, get ready. My workout starts about 4.15. As soon as I'm done, I make my breakfast and usually it's going to be oatmeal or cream of rice. If I'm out of one, I'll have the other. And then from there, it's vegetables. Now, yesterday I had asparagus two times. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Sometimes that happens. It's okay. My asparagus was starting to look like it was going bad. I had broccoli in the, in the refrigerator, but my broccoli is still looking really good. So I thought I'm just going to cook up this asparagus, split it up between two meals until I get the next bunch of asparagus. And then today I'm having broccoli. So I don't get hung up on, oh, I already had this today or, oh, you can only have eggs in the morning or this is noise folks. This is noise. Tune it out. Just tune it out. Just eat 
what aligns with your goals. And if you don't know what those are, work one-on-one -on -one with me or another health and wellness coach that can help you devise a plan for you so you can tune out what the naysayers and everyone else is saying. So things get mixed up. Uh, I love avocado. I will typically have a half of an avocado sometime throughout the day with something. But if I'm out of avocados, I may have almonds. I may have 10 almonds instead or something else that's a fat source. It just depends on what I have on hand. If you participate in the program Three Week Intense, which is three weeks, 21 days of habit forming to help you learn the art of creating habits that help align with the goal, whatever the goal looks like for you. It could be weight loss or weight maintenance. Three Week Intense is designed to help that habit formation it is intense. Don't sign up if you don't think you can do intense. I believe you can, but you have to believe it. In that program, you will get a clean eating document that will share with you the foods that I approve of for my clean eating. Opening a bar, a protein bar, to me, while in a pinch, that may work, that's not exactly what I would call clean eating. We only want those in a pinch, but we will cover that more in the three-week intense information meeting. So let's walk through. I'm going to show you the five meals I had yesterday. I'm going to briefly just share with you what they are. I've already went over all of the details in my style of eating. Again, if you're looking for assistance, work with me one-on-one. -on -one. If you're looking for a group setting and something more affordable, then I recommend Three Week Intense. Also, if you choose to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you're looking about six weeks out to get your first session, so always bear that in mind. I have a very large clientele base. That's why I offer these programs, so I can get to you, and it's very affordable because it's more of a group-oriented, but you can get more information on the Three Week Intense page. In addition, I have a leg workout video. I will have that in the description box below. Take advantage of that if you're looking for some really great exercises that you can use weights or no weights. Anyone can do these depending on your limitations. If you have some ailments that could prevent you, but there's plenty of exercises in there. I do these every single week. So I check off all my boxes for my strength training and I share those. So check out that leg video. It's yours to keep once you uh, check out. So let's take a look at my five meals. You are looking at at meal one, which is four scrambled egg whites not cooked in anything, and I have oatmeal here, which is sprinkled with cinnamon. The egg whites are sprinkled with my favorite Trader Joe's seasoning. I will have that linked. So I probably had this meal right around 6 a.m., again, meal one. Sometimes I will swap out the oatmeal for cream of rice cereal. I like to have heavy carbohydrates after a heavy workout. Meal two for the day is three ounces of chicken breast, again sprinkled with the Trader Joe's seasoning, nothing else, and then I have six roasted asparagus spears. I just kind of mix those up or toss them up with a little olive oil and some seasoning. I believe I had fresh rosemary left over. It was delicious. And half of an avocado sprinkled with Himalayan pink sea salt. Meal three, six more asparagus. So you can imagine I was peeing a lot this day because asparagus is a diuretic. It's a great diet vegetable because you do flush out. If, if you're going to have like a cheat meal or a celebratory meal, asparagus the following day is great because you will pee a lot. And then I have my salmon that I get from Sizzlefish. I do have a baked salmon recipe on my website. I will have the recipe linked. It's a blog post where I walk you through step by step. I also have a blog post of my roasted vegetables. I will have that linked as well. Meal four is chopped up baby spinach, not cooked, just raw, mixed in with tuna. And then I have some sliced cucumbers sprinkled with Himalayan pink sea salt. I don't mix anything in my chicken or my tuna. That would be going into standard American diet, which I try to avoid unless I'm having a celebratory meal. 
My final meal just really consisted of four hard boiled egg whites. Now, I am not against yolks. A lot of times, if people don't see something in my diet, they assume, yes, assume, mm -hmm, that I don't like it or I'm against it. No, not at all. Eggs as a whole are very healthy for you. But understand, there's a lot of fat in the yolks. Well, I love healthy fat, and yes, yolks would be a healthy fat, but I prefer to take my fat source in from an avocado because I actually like the taste of avocado better than I do the egg yolks. You can't have it all or you will put weight on, and if that's what you're trying to avoid, you have to pick and choose. So you will see often, I just have egg whites. But I have previous videos that I have shared where I have made egg salad with whole eggs and used avocado in place of mayo. Really delicious. So again, you mix things up, you find what works, but I'm not against anything and you're not seeing any fruit because not against fruit, I just don't eat fruit. So that was my five meals, but I am gonna show you, here's just another meal that I had, I think the next day or a couple of days later. I believe this is tuna, it looks like tuna here, not chicken, and some st steamed broccoli. I love my vegetables. I also throw thought that I would throw in here what Paul had for dinner. This is not a sight for me because I could never eat this, but I thought I would share with you what I prepared for dinner for him the day that I took all of this footage of what I eat in a day. This plate is leftover meatloaf. I had made it the day before and I always try to cook every other day and then a baked potato with a big slab of butter on top. And I pretty sure I topped it off with a heavy dose of sour cream and he was in heaven. I do order my salmon from a place called Sizzle Fish and I have that all automatically set up. So it arrives on about the 27th of every month and you can't cancel it. For example, when we were on vacation last year, I just went ahead and canceled it. I keep the date that I need to cancel by in my notes so that I remember to do so, but it's been great. And then I also order their crab cakes because I love them. Those are a little bit more calorie dense, so I do have to back off on my eating on days I'm gonna have a crab cake, but I know I'm gonna have it because I'm thawing it out. The other thing that I periodically do, maybe about once a month, is a three-day juice cleanse. Now that doesn't really align with the high-protein diet that I follow, that's okay. Our body likes to switch it up once in a while. Just like your workouts, you switch them up. Your body likes your diet to be switched up as well, so I have really great results when I do that three day cleanse. And I choose the dates to do the juice cleanse based on a chunk where I just have a really busy schedule and I see it as like a little mini vacation from all of the meal prepping and cooking that I do. A lot of times I even back off on cooking for my husband and for Chloe because if you follow me, you know that I cook, I prepare dinner almost every night, something for Paul and Chloe that they like, that that's gonna align with them more. If you're not familiar with this, you gotta follow me on Instagram stories because I share what I make almost daily. Typically about every other night, I try to prepare one meal for them to cover two days. And then I do the Friday family dinner. These are all standard American diet meals. I'm not against them. I just know for me personally, they're not gonna achieve my goals. I could care less what other people eat. If my, 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 my loved ones get to eat what they want, right? They're not me, they're in their own box. And the food that they eat is wonderful and yummy and tasty and I love it too. I just know what works for me, especially in the season of going through menopause as well. So I need my diet to, to again, you know, complement what's going on in my life. And again, for 15 years, this is what I've been doing. So it just works. <laughs> It just works. But yes, the three-day the three juice cleanse. 
I get my juices from Raw Fountain. I will have a link in the description box. I will also have a code that you can use at checkout for a little bit of a discount. But typically, one time per month, I will do a three-day juice cleanse, and I love them. They taste amazing. I also have a local juicery that I get juices from as well, but they're very pricey there. So I typically like to leverage Raw Fountain juices, and they're, they're wonderful, and I've got a whole system. But be following me on Instagram stories so that I can, you can see more of how I do everything. You are looking at the front of my brochure back when I originally started my business, Body and Balance, and I did personal training as well as health and wellness coaching. I also did organization. So this was the front of my brochure. And actually, there is still a Facebook page out, Body and Balance. If you search that, you will have the opportunity to see some of my competition photos. I competed three times that year. And then here's the inside of the brochure where I talk more about fitness and nutrition and organization. This was at about the age of 39 when this brochure was put together. I'm 51 now. I would say my muscle development is actually more than what I had here because of more years of resistance training under my belt. But in these photos, I was in a competition ready body. So I this was probably maybe a week or two out from competing when I had this particular photo taken. So I would have been going through the lean out process, which is something that you do when you compete. This insert that I'm sharing with you is really great to show because this is a before and after of me. And believe it or not, in that before picture, I was, I weighed in my 120s and I was like a size two to four, but I was a skinny fat. So I was standard American diet. That's how you're going to look. You're going to have a spongy look. So while I was exercising many days per week, putting a lot of hours in, I was simply doing cardio and I was eating the standard American diet. When you look at the photo to the right, the after, this is clean eating. This is utilizing the weights to strength train and build muscle and not placing as much value on cardio, not, not eliminating it by any means. I had cardio in all my workouts, but putting the focus on the weights. But this just proves to you that what you eat what your diet consists of will make the most results. Again, the only difference here is only cardio, standard American diet versus cardio with resistance training, clean eating diet with nutritionally dense food to complement the lifestyle that I desired. There you have it. What I eat in a day at 51. I will be 52 in June. Again, been eating this way for 15 years. It works for me. I'm just gonna keep at it. I actually believe I'll keep at it for the rest of my life. I see no reason not to. It's very healthy, it's very nutritionally dense. Why mess with a good thing? And it provides me what I'm looking to achieve, and that is to maintain my goals, which again, are always in motion. Links to everything in the description box below this video. Comments and suggestions, please leave those in the comment section. I read every single one. Don't forget to get registered for the next three week intense. It's a powerful program. It is so much fun. We have a Facebook group page, a lot of interaction, coaching almost daily from me. I share a lot of things there that I don't share on my other platforms platforms. Also, Instagram stories is a must. Follow me there. I'm on there every single day with life lessons and health and wellness coaching free of charge just for you, my service for you. And I have two newsletters that go out every single week, one on Friday, one on Sunday. Get subscribed. That will be in your inbox. Thanks for being here.